We are at the home of Diane and Joel Franken. They live in a lovely Victorian home on a bluff overlooking the Mississippi River in Davenport called Prospect Terrace, which has historic value in and of itself, the subdivision when it was built and the American Indians before that. Uh, it's the kind of house that when you walk up to it, you say, oh, wow. I mean, the, the, the architecture of it, the four-color paint scheme, the beautiful flowers in front. And when you go inside, it's like I could write a story about every room because every room has something unusual, the furniture, the architecture. We're going to go into the dining room, which has many features, and they will explain some of them. So, Joel, what is this? Well, Alma, this is one of my favorite pieces, and this is something that we almost didn't get. We had loaded up our truck, and uh, we're ready to go home, and I said, uh, anything else? And Diane says, yeah, look over there. I think we're going to take that with us, and that's what this is. It's a polyphone. And uh, this was manufactured, I believe, back in uh, 1898 in Leipzig, Germany. It's a fascinating piece, and this is actually a coin-operated uh, polyphone, but uh, it operates on, on a huge metal disc. I'll crank it up here a little bit. Diane has lots of collections. This is one of them. Can you explain what, what these brushes are? Well, yes. As art teachers, we're very interested in these. are calligraphy brushes from China. And most people think of the English calligraphy, uh, such as in an old Bible that you might see, which are very small. But uh, the Chinese sometimes sat on the floor to do this and used very large brushes, as you can see. They're all also highly decorated with either ivory or jade. The Frankens have filled their home with wonderful, beautiful things, antiques. One of them is this screen, which uh, Diane, say a little bit about what it's made out of and what makes it so unusual. Well, what makes it so unusual is that there is uh, shells used as some of the coatings. Uh, the Victorians like to show things from their travels, so having things from other countries was a sign of their status, their wealth. And uh, so seeing a Chinese screen such as this would be common. And a lot of our things are from estate sales or shops. This happened to be from an estate sale.